Channel 2 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. That breaking news follows a wild chase you saw unfold live right here on Channel 2. Police working to stop a stolen wrecker. The chase came to a dramatic end when the driver ran a red light and was broadsided by a pickup truck. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Baessa. And I'm Sarah Donchi. And for Lauren Freeman, it started in West Houston and then ended with a crash at Highway 90 in Brooks in Sugarland. Channel 2's Taisha Walker is live in Sugarland with an update. Taisha? Sarah, you know, not much has changed within the last hour that we updated you, but take a look. You can still see that tow truck is still in that light pole where it crashed after leading police from Houston here to Sugarland after a 30 minute chase. And just over to the left, if we can pan over a little bit, Adrian, the black pickup truck that it crashed into is on the bed of a different wrecker. We do know that the driver of that pickup truck is expected to be okay. That person was checked out. But as for the driver of the tow truck that led police on a chase for nearly 30 minutes. We are told that person is in custody at this hour. That chase starting on Highway 6 in Bel Air after HPD says the truck driver left the scene of what appears to be an accident in that area and led them to this area here at Brook Street and uh, U.S. Highway 90 here where that chase came to an end right over there to that light pole and we uh, were told just a short time ago that they're not expecting any updates for several hours. It's quite a mess out here still, although you did see that traffic is still moving, but as soon as we learn more information, we will bring it to you live or on our website. Live in Sugarland, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.